Commander Kelly, you've made it. Take a seat, my dear. Hello, Mr. Oyulu. Please, please, just call me Julio. Would you like some coffee? No, I'm not a big coffee fan myself. Oh, boo. Don't be such a party pooper. My grandpappy made it. You don't want to disappoint my grandpappy now, do you? Whatever you insist. Now, what exactly have you called me in for? I would like to make you a deal. A deal that involves money. You like money, don't you? I'd say so, yes. Well, I want to lay in on a plan that I haven't told anybody else. I'm only telling you because, quite frankly, I need to make sure that nobody gets in my way or finds out about this plan. If you can do that, then if the plan works out, I'll pay you handsomely. What do you say? How much? Because I get paid pretty nicely already. <laughs> Numbers are not. You wouldn't have to work as much. Just hear me out. The governor of this town, Governor Metz, my older brother, is absolutely horrible at his job. Tax rates are up. Unemployment is high. It makes me sick. I've tried to convince him to step down so I could be the governor, but he's so stubborn that he won't let go. We've been doing this song and dance for the past ten years, and there just happens to be no term limits in the middle of Iowa, so I'm done. What are you suggesting, Julio? I want to kill Governor Metz. Quite frankly, I want his death to be something without my fingerprints. So I don't want to do anything like shoot him or anything. However, I know my brother too well, and he likes his coffee. However, he's kind of a weird cat. He likes his coffee imported and made in a certain way. So he has certain coffee beans stored in the train from a nearby town. However, tomorrow I'm going to poison the coffee beans, and he will know what's hit him when he gets that morning cup of joe. So I want you to keep this plan under wraps, and I promise you will be rewarded when I become the governor. How do you know you're going to be governor? Trust me. I know, dear. Um... <laughs> you should have seen your face. <laughs> I decided I don't want my fingerprints on this death. There's a certain secret about him that I've kept, and as long as I don't tell it to anyone else, then I would be next in line to become the governor if anything happens to him. However, that's besides the point. Promise me that you won't say anything about this plan. I'll do this for you. That's $1,800 and a free little gun right there. Don't let me down. I won't let you down. Come on, y'all. This is way too easy. Give me something new, please. Okay, Quinn. You got anything left? No, I do not. Agent Scum, can you report to the control room, please? Sure thing, Commander Kelly. What's going on, Commander Kelly? Agent Skull, as mundane as it sounds, I need to just stop coffee beans from getting loaded. <laughs> That's it? You finally had me on a solo mission after being in this agency for five years? And you give me a mission like that? Well, first of all, Skull, you're a nice guy and clearly very skilled at what you do. However, you run your mouth way too much and that can really cost you when flying solo. When I get other agents with you, at least there's someone there to keep you in check. Secondly, hear me out. You know Senator Julio Oilu, right? Yeah. He seems like a nice guy. Well, he's not. He's secretly a mob boss in a suit and tie. He really wants to be governor and is taking drastic measures to get rid of the governor. But isn't Governor Metz his older brother? That's how sick he is. Nothing will stop him from wanting to be governor instead. So what's he trying to do? He has poisoned all the coffee beans that are being transported on the Galaga Express. That's the train that travels from here in Quakerville to the Black House where the governor is. The train is going to depart tomorrow morning, and you need to make sure you catch that train. Why did he tell you all this? I, I can't tell you that right now. 
He just trusts me a lot, but quite frankly, I don't trust him at all, and this is such a twisted plan to take out the governor. Hmm. Interesting. You've been training really hard, and I do think as a fighter you're becoming more resilient. I can for sure count on you to carry out the mission without getting your hands too dirty. Cool. But what do I do with the coffee beans? Figure it out, stupid. I'm sending you on the mission, not doing the mission for you. Anyway, you go on the train. You're gonna need to take another pack of coffee beans that aren't poisonous and put them on that train. Before you leave the base, put them in your bag and you can take them when you get up in the morning. I'm counting on you, Agent Skull. No problem, Commander Kelly. I won't let you down. Plus, if you need any help from the base, you can have Agent Quinn on the line with you as you're doing that mission. Cool. Will Julio be there? No, he said he won't. At least I hope not. to get on that train well the tickets would actually mean something if you know you weren't chasing a moving train screw it I guess you leave me no choice hey what the hell are you doing trying to get on the train duh You're crazy! Get off this train right now! <laughs> what are you gonna do if I don't? Sue me? Alright, I'm gonna be nice and ask you a simple question. Let go of me! Are these boxes right here full of coffee beans by any chance? Lie to me and you're getting sent out of this train. No, they're not. The coffee beans are all in the second to last cargo train, right in front of the caboose. You need to get the key to the train car from one of the governors. Why do you care? It doesn't matter. Now what governor is it? I ain't telling you anything else. Suit yourself. <laughs> Pathetic. Quinn, you there? I hear you loud and clear, Skull. Now tell me the deeds. Well, I just talked to this one lady and she said that I gotta get a key from the governor. Make sure everything is alright at the base. You got it, Skull. Good luck. Alright. Let's do this. Well, I'll be damned. I didn't know politics could make you dine with these rich swashbucklers. <laughs> hey, can I get bourbon on the rocks? Sir, bourbon on the rocks is ice cream. I only serve beer and sophisticated cheese. How can cheese be sophisticated? <laughs> Anyways, look, I don't drink, so tell me what you got. How about I just hook you up with a club soda? That's boring. Then I'll take it. Keep the change. Thanks. Hello, lovely ladies. How's it going this fine evening? Sir, it's eight in the morning. My bad. I assume with you rich folks, the entire day is the same. <laughs> so what brings you today, sir? I don't think I've ever seen you before. Have you seen this guy before, Vasquez? No, I've not. And I thought I knew everybody in the committee. Maybe I'm not as good as I thought I was. Mm. Well, ladies. I'm not here for the politics, really, because, my God, that bores me. I'm just here to find one of the senators to get the key to the food storage. You're one of those eaters, huh? You know, stranger, you give off the weirdest first impression I've ever seen. Anyway, you said you needed the key to the food storage, right? Yes, I do. I just need it so I could... Wait a second. I'll be right back. Hey, sir. What coffee are you using? Hazelnut. Just some cheap stuff from the store, really. 
I know that there's some coffee beans in the back for the governor because he likes his stuff imported. <sighs> That's good. I know, right? I know the governor gets annoyed when anyone messes with the coffee he drinks. <laughs> sure. Sorry about that, ladies. Who do I go to to get the key? Ah, oh, Senator Nelson. He's the guy down there with the mustache and glasses. Gotcha. Thanks. Hello, sir. Who are you? I'm the one asking the questions. Excuse me? Nah, I'm playing. I'm Kurt Johnson. But most people call me Skull. Skull? Yeah, you know, as in bashing skulls together. I know what a skull is, you idiot. I mean, who goes by that name normally? Well, I do. Anyway, I want to ask you something. Can I get the key to the food storage cart down, down the line? Damn it, I messed that up. Can I get the key to the food storage cart down the line? And why is that? Um, it's a request from the governor. Then how come I've never heard of it? Because, uh, he has trust issues? Hmm. I buy it. Here you go. Cool. Make sure you bring the key back if you can. Hello? Julio? Yeah, let's say this Commander Kelly isn't as trustworthy as you thought. She sent one of her agents here to terminate the coffee beans. How do I know? This guy said he goes by the name Skull, and who the hell goes by a name like that? Plus he said he was sent by the governor, which doesn't make sense at all. The point is... He's a terrible liar. I suggest you go buy the food storage truck right now. Senator Nelson! Oh, my bad. I was only in the train car in front. I wasn't that far. So why did you give him the key then? Yeah, I didn't think this through. Anyway, I'm gonna take care of this. Now I gotta search for all these damn boxes. Oh wait, there it is. Check and mate. Now, I found the boxes, so what do I do with it? What you can do is leave it be. Senator Julio, nice to finally meet you. It's funny to think that I used to look up to you, and now here you are about to kill me, just for wanting to get rid of it. Keep your mouth shut, you should not be in here. Yeah? Well, neither should you. And I hate to disappoint you, but it ain't the first time I've had a gun pointed at me. Keep running your damn mouth and it'll be your last. Think again. Are you really so determined to be governor that you have to outright murder the current one? Your brother, no less? I'd like to jump first, think second, if you will. You don't know what you're messing with. Now get your paws off me. I got some of the secret service to take you down, and I promised them that I'd pay more than what they're getting now. I'm gonna make sure those coffee beans are in ship shape, and meanwhile, you're gonna continue to get your ass kicked. Hey. plans. Ugh, that bra, I just had to go and run her mouth. Good thing I took care of her all fine and well. Stop this nonsense right now. No, don't touch it! <laughs> Let go of me. <laughs> you have caused way too much trouble for me, you idiot. Goodbye, peasant. Don't mess with me, homeboy. No! The poisonous coffee beans! That's it! 
get back here. <sighs> Dang, Skull is taking a long time to get this crap done. Commander Kelly? Can I help you? You? What, what, are you, what are you doing here? Something that I should have done a long time ago. Okay, Julio. This ends right here. Right now. Your whole reverse malnutrition plan has failed. So just quit this whole thing. You don't understand, boy. I've waited way too long to try to want my brother in some way or another, and he always gets what he wants. And then when he gets what he wants, he brings everyone else down with him. This town is not good enough under his service, and I am ready to change it. And do you think this is the way to go? At least at this point, yes. However, there's no chance right now. So if I'm going down in flames, I'm taking you with me. However, you run your mouth way too much, and that can really cost you in flying solo. When I get other agents with you, at least there's someone there to keep you in check. No. just to poison your brother. I mean, really. You shouldn't have to go this far. This isn't the way to go. I used to look up to you. But after all this, I'm not sure if I really want to. Should I care? I barely know you. Who the hell? You don't understand. I've been putting up with this for far too long. Matter. You're making a mistake. <sighs> You're right. I'm sorry. Let's head back down to the caboose. I'll meet you down there. Hey, Gwen. Skull, did you get rid of the coffee beans? Yes, I did. See? I'm not much as a screw about Get back to the base now. Something, Something happened to Commander, to Commander Kelly. Kelly. What do you mean? Let's just say Senator Julio and Commander Kelly have some sort of history, and it's coming back to bite her in the butt. Wait, but... I can't talk right now. I'm sorry. I gotta go. Quinn, wait! Hey, you coming or what? What did you do?